That was the last run of 2021. Last day of the season. It was a lot of good moments. The work of people there has been there for me. Ultimately, thank you so much to 2021 for the sounds that you've given me. Hello guys, I just finished filming a clip for my 2022 arrival vlog. I think I'm going to do like a whole New Year's Day kind of vlog. Um, eh. So New Year's Eve will probably be in this um, video. Anyway, I need to go, every year I write myself like a letter for me to open at the end of okay every new year's eve i write myself a letter for me to open at the next new year's eve and then i write one for the next year and it goes on you get it so i keep it in this black box that i have on my desk and i use it to um keep all the things i want to take to college with me um or anything that's like really really meaningful to me so i have one for my first day of junior year that i wrote at the beginning of sophomore year this is my sophomore year one day at the beginning of freshman year and this is my freshman year one this is my freshman year one day at the beginning of eighth grade so here is the one i've been waiting to open for a really long time the 2022 one so i'm very excited to read this i'm gonna read it off camera and then i'm gonna write my new one for 2022 or 2023 and here it is open 2023 and also now um i want to do a tiktok but i need my bed so i need to clear off all that so i need to put away laundry and then the rest i've been folded up just needs to go somewhere else so we made a bed on a star in the sky So weird to say. Okay, this is my last video with my straight hair. Eh. Like, this is this last time for straight hair for a long time, actually. Because I think, wow. Next time I'm gonna get straight hair is for my birthday, which is in June. So, six months away. But y'all, I just realized, by the way, Happy New Year! Because it's finally 2022 for me. Um, I guess all around the world by now. It's totally 2022, and 2022 means I turn 16 this year. Um, I'm sorry. Who let that happen? I'm going to be 16. I will be able to drive by myself. And it's going to be an epic, it's going to be an epic birthday because I already started, like, planning it in my head. Obviously, I'm not that crazy person who sends out invitations or makes a whole month about her. But, um, I'm kind of doing something like not really big but like big at the same time i guess compared to what i've done so my plan is to go like to dinner like fancy like cocktail dinner obviously no alcohol because you know 16. i just kind of go to dinner with like five friends um who obviously i'm not gonna like determine who that is now because like people change if i learned anything over last year but it's a new year so we're forgetting about last year um that people change so it could change by June 23rd, because that's when my birthday is. Um, and that's when I'm going to have, like, the little party and everything, so it's going to be so fancy. I already found, like, this really cute dress um, off of Lulu's. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my hair, like, cut and curled, and it's going to look so pretty. I'm going to get my makeup done. Like, I'm so excited. I mean, I know it's, like, six months away, but I'm so excited. Sorry, my friends texted me because um, we're making plans for next weekend to go see the movie The 355. The same people who did Jason Borden. Anyway, so I'm very excited for my birthday, but I'm actually going on a trip, um, international trip, if COVID allows. I mean, it, we've already scheduled it um, for my birthday um, two weeks before. So that's like my birthday present. And on my birthday, of course, this year, I'm donating to UNICEF. So I'm very excited about that. Um, that's going to be my birthday present to the world um and me giving back so anyway this is the last thing of my straight hair but i can't believe i turned 16 this year i started junior year this year um it's gonna be a crazy year but it's gonna be a good year it's going to be a good year and there is some things that i need to decide in 2022 but i can't believe it's 2022 this is such like a random thing to say but i feel like 
A lot of people say I look like 18. Not right now, obviously, but I look 18. But I feel like in this outfit, I look 12. <laughs> I hate my outfit, but... I'm not... You can't even see me. Hold up. But right now, I don't feel too well. I'm like, okay, but like, eh, whatever. I'm alright, guys. But this is the fit we picked out this morning. So now, it's been the long-awaited... I need to clear out my bag kind of stuff because y'all the dreaded thing has happened where I got an email from one of my teachers today talking about going back to school and the assignments I have to do the assignments I have to print and get ready for for Tuesday which is when we go back to school I know a lot of people go back tomorrow so I'm very grateful that we don't have to go back tomorrow but yeah I ordered my pens because I changed my pens typically every quarter um, but I didn't for this last quarter, um, so, yeah, they definitely need to be changed. Enjoy the montage. Hello guys, long time, no see. I feel like I say that every time I come back, or there, I should say every time I come back, because I'm literally gone forever, and I just decided to pick up the camera one day, because, yeah, and the same thing goes with my editing, but I just uploaded a video, which is why I feel like I've earned the right to pick up the camera, but hello guys, good, I was gonna say good morning, it is not good morning, it is like 3.52 in the afternoon, it is currently January 8th, 2022, and this next week well this last week was the first week back at, s at school and we were online for school for the first week um after coming back from break and i don't know if we're gonna go online again but uh, like i don't know there's a there's a good chance we could but i honestly don't think we're going to for this upcoming week um so yeah i'll let you guys know how it goes but it's been stressful going back to school like uh i got too comfortable anyway but this week is going to be, uh, um, yes, I still have my thing up, my stocking. This week is going to be something special, I guess. Not really special, just it's going to be stressful um, because, oh my god, what happened? This week is going to be a little bit stressful because um, obviously I have school this week and gym all this week, except for Friday I don't have gym because Saturday uh, we are leaving to go to... Tennessee we're going to Knoxville Tennessee so I feel like I've just been getting out travel videos back to back to back like let's go I love traveling that's like my favorite thing to do I love flying let's just clarify anyone who knows me knows that anyway so we're going to Knoxville Tennessee for one of my competitions we're going to the Ozone Invitational up in Knoxville Tennessee and um we compete Sunday at 8 a.m but we have to obviously fly up there and people compete on Friday and so the gyms close or the optionals no one has practice on friday because the coaches obviously have to be up there they're leaving thursday night some of them um and some people are driving it's like a 10 hour drive um but others are flying so i'm flying and yeah so i'm very excited stay tuned for that of course i'll be vlogging the whole thing and taking my camera along for the ride because you know you never know when you'll see something good and then tomorrow, um, we're, actually January 6th was Epiphany or Three Kings Day. So we always do this thing like with um, some of my family. Um, and my cousins come um, and um, we rotate whose house it's, it's at. And it's like we all live like kind of like around within an hour from each other. Um, and we just have like a celebration and a party and it's a good get together and a lot of, and both of them are back from two of my cousins actually I think one went back already but two two of my cousins are in college but one of them is back now the other one just went back to school but he's back so he's gonna be there and I'm very excited about that and so yeah tomorrow is gonna be that little celebration I'm very excited about that, but it, um, I just spent the day doing schoolwork because I like to get all my work done on Saturdays, like editing, schoolwork, video, whatever, um, so that way I have Sunday to just, like, relax and stay in my bed and watch, like, Netflix for the whole time, but obviously on Saturday I have to work out because Sunday is the only rest day I have, so, um, I'm actually very excited because 
I love my workout clothes. Like, that's like my favorite thing to get. I got so much stuff for Christmas. But I haven't really eaten like a formal lunch. I'm not going to eat a formal lunch, but I feel like I need something somewhat healthy to put in my body. So, before I go work out. So, I'm going to go downstairs and get a cutie. Eat that. I've never cut a cutie before. So, I mean, I don't even know if you're supposed to cut it. So, this should be interesting. I'll take you guys with me. Here is our cutie. And here is our knife. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to feel this with your hands, but we're just going to use a knife. This is the gym fit for today. We have this shirt. Like, Adidas, Adidas should just sponsor me at this point, you know? Like, they should. Anyway, this shirt that I got for Christmas, obviously from Adidas. Like I just said, this is what the back looks like. Front, and I'm wearing a pink Lululemon sports bra underneath. And then these leggings are also from Adidas. And box on the side, strips on the side. Yeah. So that's the fit, and this is my pink sports bra. We got the pink sockies. I'm literally so stupid. I put them on backwards. This is the front, and the air heart is on the back. So stupid. I was just about to go and sit down and start watching some Netflix. Start watching some Netflix, but I realized I couldn't do that without talking to you guys quickly first. Um, so it's 6 8 p.m. I got home from the gym around like 5.30, but I wanted to show you guys what I did at the gym today. I don't really show you, but like, show you like, like calories and stuff like that because I'm pretty proud of myself today. I tried a lot of new things. Um, actually, not really. I didn't try a lot of new things, but I did a lot of stuff today. I did total body today. So I did 30 minutes total body, 15 minutes weight training and then 30 minute run because um, I saw this thing on TikTok um, that instead of running for like distance, run for time um, to build up stamina because I have, I have no stamina, I have no endurance, um, I literally like feel like I'm going to die every time I run even though like I like running <laughs> um, to like really stress. So I'm trying to do that and it's been so, this is my second time doing it. I did it two weeks ago, no, one week ago, and it was already easier, so I'm very proud of myself, but, so yeah, so I ended up doing 2.88 miles in the 30 minutes because I'm not, like, going for, like, a high speed or, um, like, it's not like I'm running, this is on the treadmill, so the speed was at 5.6, that's, like, the speed I'm going with for the 30 minutes, it's not like I'm running, like, really high intense, like, at 7.8, like, how I do for, like, my sprints or like eight or like nine you know like I'm just doing regular kind of pace um so it was, I was really slow but who cares because I did it and I'm just all about building up stamina so I'll paste the stats on the screen well, I'll actually take a screenshot of that now so I don't forget um and then before that I did strength training so I did you know, 30 minutes of I always said total body and then 15 minutes of strength training um, and I burned a total of 385 calories and then the run obviously saw it but I burned 200 no I burned 344 calories so pretty pretty good over 600 calories burned in total and then in total today I've done 6 6.5 miles climbed 10 flights of stairs 12,697 steps um, and on exercise, I've done 107 minutes today, and then on calories in total, I burned today. Just not just with exercise, I've done, I've burned 933 calories. So that is really really good. Um, I haven't done a hard workout like that in a long time. I've done hard workouts, but I haven't done total body weight training and run like 30 minute run all in the same day in a very long time. Actually, I've never done the long run. Like I said, this is my least second time doing it. And the time before, I just did arms and legs with it. So, yeah. Yeah, but I am finding so many good exercises to do, like, on TikTok. Um, because I love working out. It's, like, one of my favorite things to do outside the gym. Gymnastics gym. So, I'm just finding a bunch of new exercises and adding them into my workout. It's challenging me because I feel like if I do the same thing over and over again, like, it's not... 
it's not helping me so finding other things to do that are harder and more intense is great good morning guys hello welcome um today two of this vlog it's the next day it is sunday and it is 9 5 a.m and it's january 9th 2021 um today is the day that we have like a little party thing get together with her cousins and but that's at 4 30 but i'm just put on what i'm wearing for them because like it's casual so yeah i did my makeup now obviously i'll have to redo it but I now because you know i want to so let me just show you the fit we have these jean shorts which are from levi's and then we have this pink butterfly shirt which is um from no clue actually it might be from target but i actually don't remember where i got this huh or maybe it's from arrow i don't know maybe i'll put it on the screen if i can find it anyway um today actually this weekend has been very productive like i am so proud of myself but even today has been productive by itself yesterday i did like most of my homework the only thing i had left to do was a study guide for my history test on friday um so i started saying for that and i was like okay last night last night i edited two videos the one that went up last night and then one that goes up on monday so tomorrow um and I'm planning on editing another one shortly, here shortly, um, but I was like, you know what, I've done all my homework except for the study guide, I'll leave the study guide to do tomorrow, it'll be fine, but I just like couldn't do that in my mind, like at 4.30 this morning, it was like, I woke up and I was like, I have to do the study guide, like I have to do it right now, so I woke up and I moved everything, I came and sat here in my chair by my window, and I was just working on the study guide till like 7 a.m but i did it i finished the study guide and was very proud of myself and then i um started i finished doing some laundry that i had i was cleaning disinfecting my whole room because i was like sick oh um earlier this week it wasn't covid or anything um so i was just disinfecting my whole room um which was good i cleaned my bathroom um i did all that i showered i got dressed so it's been a very productive morning um, and it's only, like I said, 9 a.m., so, whew, my muscles are really sore from yesterday, but I want to edit now. Hello, guys, um, so it's now 10.51 a.m., we just went and got a plant smoothie. I suggest, I mean, like, probably, like, four or five minutes ago by now, um, and I got a Captain Kid, and it was really good, so, yeah, I'm going to sit down and start editing my Boston video, which obviously you guys have already seen, um, and yeah we're just catching up on a lot of stuff today which is good and then later i have to go and pick up the jerk chicken that we're having tonight so that is all that's on the agenda so anyway we may export footage and yeah hello everybody it's 3:09 p.m right now and currently at the jamaican restaurant because that is what we are having for dinner, kind of, like we're getting like rice and beans and then jerk chicken from here and then other stuff too, but currently it's 3.10, I don't know if I already said that, and currently parked and I did my first U-turn today, never done that before, never had to, but I missed, I missed the other way to get in, so we had to make a U-turn, so anyway, <laughs> it was good. And now everyone, okay, the party starts at 4.30, but no one gets there at 4.30, so anyway, mom's in there right now, and 